Hello, welcome to Mix Training. This is Better Mix, and today we're gonna see how to disintegrate geometry. Alright, guys, so what we're gonna do is this cool looking effect that you're seeing right now. Alright, so it's, it's a simple thing to do. Uh, there's like three key components here that we're gonna look at and the first one is to remove the geometry the Second one is getting some part of that geometry uh, And the third part is emitting particles from that geometry. All right guys, so this is gonna be faster It's not gonna be it's not gonna be from scratch as before because this is a more advanced topic So pay attention if you need to just pause the video play it again, etc. All right so I have a few key parts here. Let's go first to the message, which is just this. I'm just turn this like this and like that. So I have this uh, letters that says Houdini, could say whatever, I could just change this. I just extrude the letters and then polybevel them. And then I have a sphere here on this side, which is animated, it's growing. And it has a mountain on it, like that. Let me switch to smooth shaded. And then I feed those two into a boolean to cut the uh, letters uh, with that sphere, which is how I'm getting rid of the geometry there. All right, so that's how the sphere is uh, disintegrating the geometry there. You can see it's cutting it away really cool. Let me stop in the middle frame, something like that. Then uh, I just add some normals to render this. So this will be the finished geometry done here. So we're basically just cutting the geometry with some boolean stuff and that'll be just that part is done. We can just do whatever, but put some other text here and it, it will work as well. So, or even any other geometry you want. And also I just using a, a sphere here, but you can use whatever you want for uh, cutting your text here, another geometry or whatever. All right, so then I'm taking that uh, that text here to this side and I'm just dividing that just to give it a lot more divisions because I'm gonna transfer color to it. Uh, this is just one way to do it. You can do it in a few different ways, but this is how I choose to do it, it's fast. So I'm just uh, adding color to that and I'm putting in everything to what to black. And then I'm taking the uh, the sphere as well, and I'm giving it this uh, red color. I'm time shifting it here, but I don't need to, and that time shift is not necessary there. Uh, then I run those two, the new geometry, the, which is black, and the uh, new uh, sphere that it's red, and I'm transferring the color from that. You can see here, that's what's happening. Whatever that sphere is intersecting, is giving us like a run, uh, like a section of red that is intersecting with the geometry, which is gonna be matching uh, with what we had here when we cut in the geometry, right? So we cut in, we have in some geometry there, and that's the area we're gonna use for uh, emitting particles, right? So if we go here, we have this. Let me just delete all the uh, remove all the templates. Here's the that red yellow, I mean yellow, that red area. And I'm using a scatter just to scatter points on that. Uh, it's really important that you, let me just create another scatter. When you have something like this, that is black, this is black and um, and red. If you are using the red background like, I'm, like I am, maybe even if you don't have the, the uh, grid, you might think that that's correct, but it's actually not. You can see there's a bunch of points there. It's not just scattering there. If Even if I change the background to another color like uh, gray, you can see the points are there all over the place, but we're just seeing the blacks, but we only want to scatter points on the red area. So for, to do that, you change this uh, attribute here, turn this on, delete that, and just choose the color there. Now you can see you only have points there in the uh, area of that red color there because black it's gonna be zero. And um, 
then I'm using some more density here uh, changing this to uh, I'm sorry just uh, instead of forcing this I'm just uh, doing this density here but uh, you can use whatever uh, you want there for your points I'm just using a bunch of points there I have like uh, 17 thousand points there which it's pretty fast to do you can see this is really really fast to do I'm scattering points this is really nice uh, trick that I use a lot now I'm piping that to the pop net here let's go back and inside the pop net I'm using the uh, source for the points of the first context that means I'm emitting points meaning from the uh, points that I'm fitting in let me just uh, delete a few zeros here so and uh, you can see I'm emitting from those points there you go and those are my my source points for the uh, particles I'm just giving it a win here in uh, in the uh, X and Y direction and then I'm giving it some amplitude for noise and a swirl scale for the noise and stuff so if you wanna do the same I'm doing just put these parameters but I, I consider playing with these parameters you can get the effect that you want then I'm using a drag just to make particles behave a little bit better they don't go crazy we have a little bit uh, more natural then that's all I'm doing I'm just putting, putting the sub steps to 3 because some velocities are going fast and so this is calculating better uh, velocities or better uh, position of the particles so then I have a ground plane just to so the particles don't go below the floor and that's just simple just do that merge it you don't need anything here like a static solver or anything uh, and since this is just static just compute to that by default so now if we just play that you can see we have that you can see if we actually merge these two guys just for temporary thing here merge the particles and the geometry so the geometry it's there then it starts cutting you can see it starts emitting before it starts cutting so it's really cool you can see we are emitting particles from those areas and then just emitting a bunch more particles will just uh, make the seam uh, practically invisible here I will look like the particles are actually t detaching from the geometry so that's why I have so much particles there actually to help that I'm getting these points here that I have on the ge on the uh, surface and I merge them with the particles here to help that transition a little bit more then I just remove the color tint them uh, tint everything to white and then I just file cache those particles just so we have uh, something already done here so this is the this is what I have for those particles, looks pretty nice. I have a camera here. Uh, yeah, that's my camera. So you can see if we just merge this temporarily here, let me grab this with the uh, geometry. You can see the, the, uh, this, the beginning here of, uh, between the transition between the geometry and the particles is almost un unnoticeable because there's so much points there so that's good and it looks uh, like this when you are just rendering it looks pretty nice so all right just to f make this work I have I don't I'm not merging these two guys I'm just putting an out key for the particles and I put in an output here for the geometry so I have the geometry here and then I uh, split the particles into another uh, group here you can see this is the particles uh, geometry I'm just merging that from the previous node here and I'm just adding uh, some expressions to give this the particle scale based on the camera which uh, at the end it's not basically doing that much because particles are not moving that uh, much towards the camera so you can ignore this if you want and just make the particles uh, your like a, con a constant size and stuff like that but uh, all right so let me just change this visualization to pixels I like that and you can see the particles look pretty nice even here in the viewport 
Then I just uh, have a, a backdrop here, which is actually a tool from the uh, from the Orbold uh, web page. You see, it's here. You can see it in the. That's the the backdrop asset, which it's uh, really really useful just to make a really fast backdrops for geometry render and something really quickly. And uh, that's it. That then I have just a few lights here, just a big huge uh, area light here in front of it and then another one on top you can see there's the other one there so i'm just giving them uh some blue to this one some jello to this one making them really huge to have really soft shadows and that's it that's all you need for this effect so just to recap go to your geometry and cut it with some other geometry or with a clip up if you want, if, we, if, we, if you need just straight cuts, you can use the clips up as well. But the new boolean, it, it's really interesting. You can make some more interesting cuts than what I did here. This is just very simple. Uh, and even if you make the uh, effect go in reverse, you will be like revealing the uh, text with, uh, with uh, the particles. Like if you start here and go back, it's going to be like, Oh, the letters are shaping, uh, are appearing from the particle, which is going to be cool as well. All right, and that, the other part you need here is getting some area of your geometry to emit particles from. In this case, I just chose, chose to uh, transfer some color, then get that color and pass it, uh, scatter some particles on it, and uh, then you need to emit particles from that. And then put all your parts together. And the other thing, uh, the other uh, reason why I put this separately is because I want to render these ones are po as points. So uh, you can see I'm rendering this as points because they are just points. And this is geometry. The message is geometry, so I can render the message as G as points. I need it to be solid there. All right. So that's it. After you shape your cuts get your particles behaving the way you want the way you want then you can just get some really cool animation for uh disappearing geometry you can use this for whatever kind of geometry you want start from the top start from the bottom whatever you want play in reverse to make it like feel like it's uh, something it's appearing and that's it all right guys hope you enjoyed this one this is a very nice uh, cool useful effect let's keep learning together i'll see you in the next one Cheers!